Hi Groupsters, it's Andy from the Car Boutique and another product review. This time we're going to be looking at the Bizzle Spot Clean Pro. Now I bought this um, up two or three months ago, been using it on a lot of the cars we've been valeting, okay, and looking at the pros and cons um, like we usually do, okay, before we get to the point whereby we're happy to sort of give our opinion um, on this um, accessory. So um, I bought this, um, like I say, in round about October. October 2021, paid about £140. Now this has come sort of down in price. Now when, when this was re uh, released, it was about £170. And looking on the internet now, you can get this for about £120. So it's a good time to buy. Now this item isn't really sold as a detailing accessory per se. It's um, really targeting um, sort of domestic use. So taking, using um, this um, product to spot clean small areas of carpets and upholstery in the, in, in the home. However, I'm sure you'd agree, you've probably all heard about this one. It's sort of been adopted in the uh, car detailing community as a sort of one of the go-to items to use for this. So um, portable carpet and upholstery washer. Now, looking at the actual item itself, a quick, uh, we'll do a quick talk through, and um, then we're gonna look at um, uses where you can use it around your car. Um, a few uh, video demos like we usually do with some music and then, and then the summary at the end, which is um, how we usually do our business. So looking at the actual um, item itself, comes well packaged. Um, it's got um, um, a couple of um, very nice features. The actual hose itself, okay, is um, sort of um, wrapped up within the unit, okay, which is good. Um, I think it's about one and a half meters. Now on um, initial sort of thought, a bit short, and I'll come back to my thoughts on the length of that. that. Um, I think the length has been dictated by them being able to wrap it around sort of this spindle and locate it back there. Um, however, okay, we're gonna um, analyze that and look at uh, the pros and cons of the size, etc. You've got a tank here, all right, which is nice and easy to remove, um, and that's where all your dirty water goes, goes in, so it's quite a good size. You're not gonna be going back, backwards and forwards, and it's nice and easy to empty um, down the sink or down the toilet. Okay, you just do that, which is good. Good quality feel to it. The actual reservoir where you put your car cleaning um, product, um, just for, in, um, for um, information, I'm using um, Koch Kemi Polestar for this demonstration. It goes in that bit there, all right? Now, it's got a sort of a, a one-way valve there. You go like that, you push it in, it breaks the valve and allows the water to go into the system. And a good tip, if you're not using it all um, and you're coming back to it the next day, just rotate it round so it's not leaking, all right? Just put it back in there. Um, and it's good to, uh, to go for the next day. A couple of accessories you get, you get an eight um, centimeter um, sort of sprayer with the brush. So you've got the beauty of it sort of forcing your cleaning chemical out, but also agitation with the brush. And you've also got, um, I believe it's a 15 centimeter version as well for larger areas. So you're looking at car mats, um, and sort of big areas in your boot um, carpets as, as well. The one thing I will say um, is that it's, it's the preferred one, in my opinion, is this one here. It is smaller, therefore the suction is more. You're not having to dissipate the available suction through a, a, a larger head, all right? It's more focused on this one. So you'll naturally find that this sucks better, okay? Which is always a good thing, isn't it? Mm. So they're the two accessories you get. Nice long power lead. Okay, which is fine, and all in all, a very good um, 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 accessory. Now, a couple of other things, you've got a couple of filters there, okay, which plastic filters, which you just clean afterwards. And at the end of um, the demonstrations, I'm gonna give you what I've found my personal top tips for maintenance of this in terms of keeping these um, reservoirs clean, and of course, the hose is clean. So if you've got a really dirty car, you don't wanna use this and then just go away, leaving gunk in the heads, gunk in, in the hose pipe as well. And I've got a few tips as to um, what you can um, do to um, prolong the longevity of this. And it does come with quite a long guarantee um, I believe it's either three or five years. Okay, what else can tell you? Um, it is quite noisy. Okay, it's got a very powerful 750 watt motor in it, which is good. It is lightweight and the power lead wraps up around these two spindles as well. So it's a self-contained unit. It's all nice and neat. You can easily, um, if you're a professional valeter or even a keen amateur, keep this in your car if you want to, um, but it's not taking too much space when you're um, storing it in your garage or your house. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Good instructions, also good information on the box. And I got a little sort of tester, um, um, sort of a, a sample of their car clean, uh, carpet cleaner as well, which I've used um, in the car and um, at home as well. So we're gonna be using this on, on the Audi TT. I'm gonna demo it on a car Mac um, because it's a lot easier. Um, and then um, in a few weeks, I'm planning to do someone's sofa 
okay? And that person knows who, who they are. Um, I'm gonna use it um, on that as well. And I'll just do a quick Facebook only video on that just to sort of expand this review. All right, so um, we're gonna plug it in, all right? And then we're gonna get started um, on this car mat here. Now, before we sort of start, the first thing I will say, and this isn't a carpet cleaning tutorial, um, um, when you've got really dirty mats and upholstery, always give it a good hoover first, okay? It's the very, very first step. Get rid of all the obvious dirt and grit, all right? Um, because that's a nice, uh, easy process. A couple of other things you can do to sort of um, help yourself. Now, we're gonna be using the actual sprayer that comes from this, but you can quite easily put your um, um, carpet cleaner in a spray bottle, spray it on, and just use a suction facility of this, which is what I do sometimes. Um, but on this one, we're gonna actually be using um, the actual spray mechanism, which is essentially you put your required nozzle on, all right, and then you're gonna be pressing that button there, okay, and you'll see the spray comes out. Very impressed with the amount of spray that comes out. I might stop doing it manually, all right? Um, manually is good for more intricate areas, but when you've got car mats outside, just use that, and it's, it, it really does force that spray out, okay? So just put that back there. Other things you can do, um, and we'll, uh, we've done tutorials on this before, um, you can be spray, spraying on either with the actual accessory itself or a spray gun, and use one of these um, sort of power screwdriver attachments that goes onto your power tool, spins it round, agitates it, lifts the fibers, frees all the dirt, okay, so you can then hoover it out, or indeed then go onto the carpet cleaner. There's various other accessories, these carpet brushes, this one's one of those ones that have got um, the rubber on, just again to agitate, get the dirt that's more that's deeper in the fibres and bring them to the surface. You can either use a wet vac, okay, or you can use a vacuum cleaner. And obviously, if you've got pets, there's all there's loads of these. This is the little brush one to just sort of uh, get rid of all the pet hairs. All right. So give this a head start by getting rid of as much of the stuff you get on you can on your upholstery or your carpets before you actually go to the deep cleaning. All right. Because the idea of this is to force chemicals into the fibres, allow them to saturate and absorb the dirt, and then suck them out. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, accessories um, you can um, use there. If you want to know where I get these from, drop me a PM or a comment um, either on Facebook or YouTube and I'll um, quite happily to um, send the links. Okay, so that's less of me talking, let's start playing. Okay guys, like I say, we're going to use the one that gives uh, the most suction and they're both uh, fitted the same. Okay, there's a little sort of nipple there that, that shoots through there to lock it in position and you can see how the actual water comes through and goes through this nipple. That nipple then goes into that bit there and provides um, the sort of transfer from here um, out the um, actual um, um, brush itself. So it's, it's quite simple like that, okay? And then the water comes firing out of here. Now I'm gonna leave, um, I've got um, Lavia mic'd up, okay? I'm gonna leave it on um, just to, to give you an idea of the noise. Like I said, it's a 750 watt motor. It is quite noisy. Um, I probably put ear defenders on or headphones or something like that, especially if you're spending a lot of time doing this in a sort of contained area They're like this um, sort of mini garage uh, warehouse here. It can get a bit noisy. So the power button's on the side, okay? And I'll just give you a sort of rough idea how much water comes out, because it's pretty good. <laughs> So you can quite clearly see that's sort of the spread, all right? And it is, it really, really does produce a lot of liquid. So bear in mind, um, if you're doing the interior of a car, you may have to leave this um, overnight to dry or just be a bit more liberal. Or if you're not happy with that much coming out, go back to your trigger gun, okay? So it really does come out at quite high velocity. So it's forcing it in, in the actual fibers, okay? Um, and the smell of that Polestar already, can not and we'll do a separate review on Koch Chemi Polestar. Absolutely love it. And I know Tony White does it. So if Tony White uses it, it must be good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what I'm gonna now do now, and uh, now, now do now, I'm gonna do, um, put it on a sort of slow fast, I'm gonna um, um, wash all of this mat, and I'm gonna see how much gunk it's got out, because that's the therapy side.
Okay guys, that's it pretty much done. Um, as you can see, fantastic finish. Um, yeah, you can go on and put the stripes in by um, sort of going against the, the, the sort of fiber direction. All right, and that is pretty much hand dried. All right, that is one really, really impressive thing. Using that tip I said, it gets it dry. You could put that in the car now. Clearly, if it's heavily saturated, okay, you would let it dry. And if you're doing your car seats or your boot liners and all that kind of stuff, just make sure it's dry. Okay, you don't want to be doing this, um, leaving um, lots and lots of water in the sponges within the seats. Okay, give it a, a chance to dry. The finishing touch for me, okay, once I've done that is I'll just go over, okay, with my preferred um, air freshener. Okay, this one is Stakara um, by Stiana Gloss. Um, and just give it that final finish, a lovely, lovely smell, okay, which is uh, really, really nice. So the final bit we're gonna do now is, um, I'm just gonna reset the camera and then I'm gonna give you some um, um, sort of cleaning ticks. But before we do, the therapy bit, all right? Just from this, just from work on the, on the um, car mat, let's have a look how much it's taken it out. <clears throat> and there you go. Look at that. So this was heavily agitated and heavily hoovered and that is the dirt you are getting out of one car mat. Bum gravy if it was on a car seat. All right, so therapeutic. All right, from a hygiene point of view, you made a huge difference. And if you do your car seats like that, all right, you're getting, I, 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 I couldn't even guess what kind of stuff and bacteria is in there. All right, so really therapeutic and just shows you how effective this machine is. Hi guys, so a quick top tip. I've seen some people um, on reviews suggesting that there isn't um, um, enough suction, okay? And I've been watching what they've been doing, all right? So they've sort of been keeping this horizontal, all right? Now you can naturally see, if I keep it horizontal, there is a gap there where it's losing suction. So a top tip, and it makes a massive, massive difference. All right, when you spray it on initially, okay, just do the initial extraction. When you wanna get the actual water out, just tilt, tilt the head, this bit here, into the fibers. You're lifting the agitation piece and you will find an absolute amazing difference in terms of how much suction. If you go like that, you will get suction, okay, but there's a gap. Point it so the actual plastic is touching the fabric and it takes two, three, four times the amount of water out. So that's a, a mistake people are making. It is a, a considerable difference. The difference between that and that is highly, highly noticeable. So when you're going for your final extraction, tilt it forward, okay, and drag the head along the upholstery. All right, the plastic is essentially lifting it. The actual suction is right into the fibers of the actual um, 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 mat um, or upholstery you're doing, and it will just suck all the water away. And as you can see, a, a great, great finish, right? It is almost, Slight dampness, but considering the amount of liquid I've sprayed on this to do the actual demo, all right, that is, it's dry, all right. You must tilt it forward to get the full extraction and you'll get on so much better with this accessory. Okay, guys, we've already looked at the Bizzle Spot Clean Pro in action. Okay, fantastic bit of kit, very, very good. Um, maybe not as industrial for professional valeter, but for the majority of people in the car boutique, um, amateurs and keen enthusiasts, uh, uh, enthusiasts more than what you're going to need okay and a good price point point 120 pounds at the moment all right um, now clearly you can use it on your car seats and um, it's got a gentle brush so in terms of alicantara um, okay it's going to be soft okay and, and good for that as well um, you can use it on your boot boot liners and your carpets exactly the same technique um, I've used it on the Audi for the actual lining. I've just lightly sprayed um, Polestar over it, wiped it down with a cloth and gently used the um, Bizzle to extract the water. Okay, be very, very careful 
um, when you're doing um, roof liners, etc. A couple of observations, okay, because we try and be open and fair. Um, this isn't sponsored, and we went and bought this um, ourselves. So we've looked at the pros. We're going to look at a couple of um, observations, um, 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 and then we're going to go on to the top tips regarding how you keep this clean. So uh, um, observation number one. Okay, observation number one, the actual heads itself. Now, I've already shown you um, in the top tip that to get the most extraction effect, you tilt this forward and you are putting a bit of pressure on the actual head. Now, if you actually look um, in the actual head itself, there's a big, big recess. So essentially, there's just a thin bit of plastic running along this bit here. My concern is if you put too much pressure down at this point, okay, that bit of plastic is the weak point on this item. It is strong, okay, but if you are um, putting a lot of force down, you're pu putting a, pressure, a lot of pressure on this weakest point, if it's gonna snap, it's gonna snap across this bit of plastic, okay, that's um, um, across here. All right, so just bear that in mind. You'll be okay, but don't go putting your full weight down because that is the weak point, okay? So that's observation number one. I'm gonna go and have a look at observation number two. Okay guys, observation number two. Um, the main limitation, okay, it's not a, a major one, but it's a consideration. And because the Bizzle have got this um, one and a half meter hose that wraps round, all right, it's a limiting factor. So if we, uh, that's it fully unwrapped and we're doing something like the boot liner, okay, you're using about a meter and a half before you get in. So you're really, really limited as to how much space, okay, you can actually clean. Also, um, if you're stretching it, the potential for that to damage your car, all right? So most of the time, okay, you're then forced to lifting this into the car, all right? So it's not a major issue. Um, I suppose it's a compromise because if they put, uh, I don't know, a four or five meter hose, it's not gonna be able to wrap around. But bear in mind, this isn't designed for car detailing, okay? It's been adopted by the car detailing community because it's a great bit of kit and we've already seen that, all right? So it's just something you have to work around. Um, and even doing in the doors, okay, you'll probably get just as close to do one, one seat. Um, you know, if you're limited, um, you'll then have to lift this into the other footwell and all that kind of stuff. So one and a half meters is not very, very long, but you've got the, com the convenience of it wrapping around. So uh, that's the main observation number two. Okay, the final bit, um, a bit of maintenance stuff. Okay, so clearly um, if you've got a really, really dirty car, you are sucking a lot of dirt and grime through your unit and you want to look after it. Um, you don't want to come back um, to doing your next car and be sort of presented with a dirty uh, bit of kit. All right, so um, a couple of things that you need. The main things you're looking at, you're obviously going to empty the dirty water. And I've told you about if you don't use all your solution, flip it over and store it there. OK, the main sort of uh, concern area is the actual hose pipe, which is sucking all the dirt through um, and the actual nozzles as well. So what I do after every use, I will put um, um, focusing, uh, focusing on the hose or put one of these on. I will get a bucket of hot water. I will submerge this fully into the hot water, all right, and turn it on. That is sucking hot water, warm water right through the system, okay? And then um, at the end, take the nozzle off and just hang it, hang it up so all the water, remaining water comes down. Um, I will then go back, do that again, all right, and that cleans the pipe and, you, and it does maintain the pipe um, really, really well. In terms of the nozzles, there's one slight limitation on one of them. The 15 centimetre head is quite good because if you look in there, it's got a little clip. You can, un you can press that down with a flat blade screwdriver and this comes off, giving you access to all the internal gubbings and then you can just um, clean it as per normal. The eight millimetre head um, has got a couple of clips there, but I wouldn't go mucking around with that. So you're pretty much forced in leaving this on. Um, there is the hole there where you can get a toothbrush or something um, down into it, um, but it is a bit more tricky to clean this. What I've been doing is getting my um, uh, pressure washer um, um, gun okay and just putting it in there and forcing it out all right you're not going to break it all right don't just just don't put it on full strength and blow the internals out okay but it's just basically plastic okay so I know at the end of the day when you've done your car all you want to do is pack all your stuff up but you are spending you know 120 quid on this all right the whole idea is to remove all the nasties out of your car um, don't forget about your kit as well so um, you know um, clean clean the nozzles hot water, stick your, hose, uh, your, your pipe in, turn the machine on, sucks all the hot water, taking all the bad stuff out your pipe and depositing it into your actual reservoir when you can then empty it out as well. Okay, so I hope it helps. 
So um, a quick, quick summary. We're trying to keep these as, as, as short as possible. Mind you, this one's probably gone, gone on for about 20 minutes. I don't know until I've edited it. Really, really good bit of kit. Um, a couple of limitations in terms of be careful with the nozzle that you don't force down and, and snap it. And the main limitation um, to this one is that one and a half meter hose, which um, you need to work around. Um, you are moving this around potentially into your car to do other areas of your car as well. Um, but in terms of performance, um, very, very impressed. Um, I bought this because I saw other people reviewing it and I thought, okay, me, and I, I like to test my own stuff, um, but I was using it and I thought, no, we're going to recommend this on the Car Boutique because it's a good bit of kit. So I'm confident you can go out and get a similar um, results as me. All right, so um, it's available lots and lots of places, around about £120 as of December 2021. I paid a bit more extra for this, but that's just the way it goes. Um, and I think they've got an, uh, a few other variants out as well. All right, but this one's still in the market for about £120. Um, all in all, really, really good. Um, go and get yourself one. And if you're getting one for Christmas, winner.